my loves, my name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my beautiful Cancer babies, let's see what we have here today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, clarity, guidance, love messages. What do my Cancers need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, <coughs> Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Cancers, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. We have the Death card, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. The Four of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? So Cancer, take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, so what I'm feeling here, guys, oh, I'm so sorry. Under the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, okay? Two of Pentacles. So what I'm feeling here is, Cancer, we have someone here that is trying to recover from a situation where they gave a lot to something and got very little in return, okay? Someone here was maybe breadcrumbed. Um, someone here was given very little love, affection, time, attention. I'm kind of getting like an energy of a dried up sponge. Someone here who has just been, you know, wrung out to the max. Someone here is exhausted. Someone here is tired. Someone here has been hurt over and over again. Um, some of you may, some this person may even be in a little bit of a depression, um, you know, like a, a, a why don't they just love me back type of thing, or, you know, why can't they see what I'm doing for them type of thing. Um, this is someone who is just consistently, I'm kind of getting a, a vibe of somebody here that keeps doing things for somebody because they want to be loved back, and that's not happening, Okay. Now, with the Four of Pentacles and the Death card, I see this stopping Cancer. I feel like someone here is going to start to become selfish. They're going to start to become greedy. Um, with the Death card, you know, that's a major arcana card, guys. So this is a, a transition in someone's life. So once this person, whether it's you, Cancer, or your person, um, once this person takes that step into being a little more greedy or being a little more selfish, it's never going to go back to the way it was, okay? Now, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, this is the energy of someone who no longer 
cares, okay? This is someone that is not interested in the sob story. This is someone that is not wearing their heart on their sleeve. Um, and with the nine of swords in the reverse, this is someone that is, they just don't care anymore, okay? The nine of swords in the upright is someone who is overthinking. It's somebody who's up at night, someone who's in their head constantly, someone who's scared, worried, you know, just their mind won't stop. And with the nine of swords in the reverse, this is an energy of someone freeing themselves of that. This is someone who is sleeping well at night because they're just like, you know what? I just don't care anymore. Now, with the two of pentacles under the deck as the overall energy, Okay, um, and the seven of wands here, I feel that maybe perhaps someone has had their foot out the door for some time because that two of pentacles could be a representation of really just being on the fence about something and the seven of wands could be a representation of saying no pushing somebody away okay in the traditional rider weight the seven of wands is six wands coming at somebody and then the seventh one is being used to you know block those people Wands is communication, wands is passion, it's action. So this could be a representation, Cancer, of somebody coming at this person um, with communication or, 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 you know, asking for things or whatever and someone finally saying no, okay? Um, now, this could also be an indication, Cancer, that, you know, maybe someone was giving to a connection okay and they were dealing with somebody who was on the fence and someone here had to make a choice over two things now that could be two people cancer it could be simply do i want a relationship do i not want a relationship um do i choose my person over my family because my family doesn't like them do i choose my person over another person do i choose my person over my friends because my friends don't like them do you see what i'm saying um one thing had to get pushed away and perhaps this person did not do that. So that could be your energy. That could be your person's energy. Okay. So now that could also be the energy of this person saying, you know, should I push this away and start saying no to this person or should I not? So let's go ahead. Use these and clarify here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, please. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Temperance under the deck. Cancer, I feel that with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, this goes back to what I was saying about you were giving too much and now you're wanting to hold back, okay? You're wanting to hold back. Now, here's the interesting thing. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So, Cancer, the Five of Pentacles in the upright, I know this is used in, in on YouTube as like the ghosting card being left out in the cold, and that's that's fine. Um, but the, the, the meaning of the card talks about fear. Fear of um, being abandoned, fear of losing finances, fear of losing someone that you love. It's fear, okay? Now, with this in the reverse, what I find interesting, Cancer, is what's happening here with temperance. I feel that you have been patient for a long time. You have given to this, or someone here has, this could be you or your person. Someone here has been giving finances, love, money, time, attention to somebody or something. And I feel like now that someone's, because we see the four of pentacles here twice, Cancer, okay? We see the four of pentacles here twice. We see the death card, which is an indication of change, transformation, um, a cycle ending, growth, lessons learned, okay? So someone here is changing and they're becoming a little more selfish. But I don't feel that this selfishness is a toxic thing this is just somebody learning to protect themselves this is somebody saying i'm going to give to what deserves to be given to and you know i'm not just going to give blindly to somebody that's mistreating me right the five of pentacles in the reverse for me at this point is a representation of somebody not caring if they lose the person like listen i'm done doing this for you and if you don't want to be with me because of that 
then boy, bye. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I'm no longer going to live in fear that if I don't do this or if I don't act that way, you know, a certain way that, you know, you're going to leave me. Do you see what I'm saying? Someone here is like, I don't care anymore. Go, leave. You know, with temperance here, there's a sense of someone just being peaceful, patient, tempered emotion. Um, someone's not getting mad, angry, not acting out of spite. They're not acting out of hatred. They're not, they're just like, simply like, listen, I'm done giving to this. If you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you want to be with me, fine. But if you don't, you know, if you're going to stay with me, I'm not giving to somebody that doesn't give anything back anymore. Okay. For oh, way too many cards, guys. Look how many cards. Okay. Tell me about the four of swords for cancer, please. The four of swords for cancer. So we have... The Page of Wands in the Reverse, Leo Sag Aries Energy. Cancer, the Page of Wands in the Reverse is a representation of somebody that I feel hurts you and then with the Page of Wands in the Reverse comes back with promises made in the moment, Three of Cups under the deck. Um, so either this person goes off with third party energies, they go out to party, they have one night stands, or they, they, they allow third party energies to come in between you guys um, and this person just lies about it. Or this person hurts you, sabotages connections, and when they come back around to fix things with you, they say whatever they have to say to get back into your good graces and it always ends up being a lie with the page of wands in the reverse it's just promises made in the heat of the moment that end up fizzling out and with the four of swords energy it hurts it hurts because you're trying to heal you're trying to recover and as you're trying to heal and recover this person's coming back around with broken promises that you know kind of i guess get your hopes up and then they get shattered again and after that happening repeatedly over and over again um it's really starting to take its toll four of pentacles for cancer please four of pentacles for cancer please we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands with Temperance under the, the deck again. So Cancer, the Nine of Wands is someone who's been wounded, someone that's been hurt, and someone that is now becoming very defensive because of that. So you want to kind of picture like, a, a, like a, you know, like let's just say a dog. At a, and I hate to, you know, I'm not trying to make an exact saying that you're a dog, but I'm just saying, have you ever seen a dog at the pound where, you know, they, they've been beaten, they've been abused, they've been hurt, they're in a corner, and if you go near them to touch them, they'll growl at you and they'll, they'll, they'll snare at you. So it's kind of like this energy at this point, Cancer, where someone here has been so hurt that now they're just defensive with everything. No, don't touch my stuff. No, don't take my debit card. No, don't touch my car. No, don't touch anything. No, don't touch me. No, I don't like you. No, don't talk to me. Everything is no, 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 no. Do you see what I'm saying? Because someone here is so tired and has become so defensive and with temperance under the deck, I feel like they're not taking this stance from a place of spitefulness or vengefulness or hatred. It's just, no, I'm tired. I'm defending myself. I'm done being hurt by you. I'm just tired. And the answer is no, don't touch me. Don't touch my things. Don't touch anything. Just leave me alone. You know, tell me about the death card. And this is very different cancer than how this person was before. Tell me about the death card. And again, what's interesting cancer is with the death card, this is not just an energy of that you're acting this way with this person. Once that threshold is crossed over cancer, you know how they say soulmates come into your life to teach you a lesson, okay? This is a lesson that you have to learn to set boundaries for yourself, cancer. So when I say you're being selfish, that, that doesn't mean that you're being an ugly type of selfish. It means that you're learning to set boundaries and learning to say no, okay? These are intended to be love readings, so this could be to family, friends, or whatever else, okay? So we have the death card here with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. So Cancer, with this in the upright, the Knight of Swords in the upright is an energy of moving very fast, running, making reckless, impulsive decisions. So it's in the reverse, Cancer. 
King of Wands under the deck, Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's a um, a knight in shining armor vibe here, Cancer. I feel like the person that I'm reading for has, up until now, wanted to be everybody's hero. As soon as somebody needs something, you would go rushing off like the Knight of Swords, whether it hurt you, whether you had money. If someone needs $100 and you have $110, you'll go and give them $100, not even worrying about how you're going to have gas money or whatever to get through the week, okay? Um, if somebody needs a place to stay, you're quick to say, okay, just take my couch without even worrying about the fact that, you know, when are they going to get off of your couch? Now you're stuck with this person on your couch for six months and all you want to do is like, you know, be able to walk around your apartment in your underwear, right? You know, you make very impulsive decisions to save the day because with the Knight of Wands energy, you want to be, excuse me, with the King of Wands energy, you want to be there to like protect the King of Wands energy loves to protect the people that they care about, okay? And with the Knight of Swords energy, the change that is happening here, Cancer, is you're no longer jumping. You're no longer jumping and you're no longer running when someone here needs you. If someone says, hey, Cancer, I need a ride. Okay, well, let me just, do you need instructions on how to download Uber? Do you want me to send you the link for Lyft? What would you like me to do? Because I'm not getting up right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is you changing cancer. People are, are coming at you with, I need this and I need that. And I'm not, you know, I don't know if it's people. I don't know if it's your love interest. I don't, you know, I don't know who this is in your life or maybe, you know, someone in your circle is changing cancer. Maybe you've been, you know, taking advantage of somebody. I don't know. Okay, but someone here is no longer running. Someone's learning to say no. Queen of Cups in the reverse, please, for Cancer. Nine of Swords in the reverse again, Cancer. Wow. This is somebody releasing all obligation. Okay, and here's what's interesting. We've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is straight up somebody saying, I, it's not, not my circus, not my monkeys, none of my business. Your electric bills do. You went out partying all weekend. I'm not going to save the day. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to go, you know, drink your electric bill away, well, there's candles at the dollar store. Have fun. You know, you're just no longer jumping to save the day for anybody. And with the King of Cups under the deck, in your divine masculine, this does not mean that you don't love people. It does not mean that you don't still harbor love for people or that you don't care about people or that you're turning into a bad person. You're just not wearing your heart on your sleeve and you're not going to be, you know, the king of cups in the divine masculine has master over his or her emotion okay so cancer this is you saying listen i love you but it doesn't uh, the, me loving you doesn't mean that i have to leave myself with ten dollars for the week or me loving you doesn't mean that you know you have to sleep on my couch for you know eight months without paying rent or anything me loving you doesn't mean that you get to take advantage of me do you see what i'm saying so you know, tough love, Cancer. That's what you're showing someone here. Tough love. Nine of swords in the reverse. Six of cups and the six of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles. Cancer, here's the deal. So now we have the six of cups in the upright with the, excuse me, we have the six of cups and we have the six of pentacles in the upright. Here we had it in the reverse, right? So the nine of swords in the reverse, this is interesting. So as soon as you come into this energy of not caring cancer, what's going to happen here is with the six of cups, this X, now the six of cups can represent an X a childhood friend, or even a family member, okay? This could even be your children for some of you, all right? But with the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, now we have an ex wanting to come back and balance out the scales because you truly don't care anymore, Cancer. Because, I mean, I mean, truly, this isn't you just having an attitude for like 36 hours, you know what I'm saying? No, you truly don't give a crap anymore, okay? And I, I feel like now they're coming back to balance out the scales. 
Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, preempress energy, Cancer. This is male or female. We don't regender in tarot. This is somebody, oh my gosh, we're 18 minutes already. This is somebody that is standing on their own, independent, doing their own thing, no longer no longer sitting here being codependent on let me run for you so that you'll love me now this is an energy of i don't care if you like me or not the answer is no i'm reading a book i'm not getting up to drive you to go get uh, a blizzard at dairy queen i'm sorry it's not an emergency and i'm resting <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know the kind of like stuff like that you know what i'm saying like you're just you know you're just learning to say no to people and because of that you're going to have either an ex coming in uh, a child coming in a family member whoever this is because you truly don't care anymore you have someone here coming in saying hey listen you know i know i mistreated you or i know i didn't treat you fairly you know what i'm saying so now they want to come in and give to the situation tell me about the challenge here for cancer okay so we've got the four of cups in the reverse and we've got the chariot in the reverse cancerian energy give me one more for the challenge here for cancer and we have the king of wands in the reverse leo sag aries energy and we have the two of cups so cancer the challenge here is is that you have a soulmate here you have someone here that wants to reconcile you have someone here with the four of cups in the reverse that feels like they've missed an opportunity you have someone with the chariot in the reverse that feels like they've made the wrong decision by not appreciating you when they had the chance and with the king of wands in the reverse this is someone that's about to throw a conniption fit this is someone that's about to straight up have a titty attack because now they're scared that you really because you really don't care anymore cancer so now they're really scared that they can't get this connection back okay tell me about the outcome here please spirit tell me about the outcome here for cancer tell me about the outcome here for cancer yeah. So we've got the Page of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, Cancer. This person is stalking you. Justice in the reverse, Libra energy. This is somebody that mistreated you, treated you unfairly, and now they're stalking you. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Why, Cancer? Because they blocked their own blessing. With the Five of Swords here, this is empty victory, Cancer. This is somebody that has cut their nose to spite their face. Do you see what I'm saying? Hurting you only hurts them do you understand because at the end of the day you love this person cancer you went above and beyond for this person cancer and instead of them just doing right by you i feel like you didn't even ask for much with this person just a little bit you know and I feel like this person just totally gave nothing back. And now, now you have someone here who really mistreated you with the justice card in the reverse stalking you because they have lost their wheel of fortune. They've lost their blessing. They've lost everything good that's in their life. They've stalled their own blessing by losing you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Cancer, I feel like, you know, I don't know what you're going to do here. I, I feel like, honestly, you've just kind of disconnected. You're doing your own thing. You just don't want to care anymore. And this person is going to realize seriously the mistake that they've made, okay? Empty victory. Now, now they're feeling the, the consequences of their actions. So Cancer, let's take this into the extended. Let's see what's going to happen here. Um, is there going to be reconciliation? Is there going to be change? What is the outcome with this person? And we'll pull some oracle. Um, for those of you who are truly disconnecting from this person, we'll do a, a few cards on what is coming towards you for new love. Okay, so the link for the extended is in the description box below and the comment section below. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.